And this is the closing session, uh, which will be mostly run by David. Uh, I'm just here as the opening act. Um, this is really our final session for uh, Linux Numbers. And thank you for being here. Was, I think it was a really great experience, even though it had to be virtual once more. And we really hope we can be in person next year, but David will say a bit more about this um, later on. One thing you should all do is to fill out our attendant, uh, attendee survey. Um, you can find it at the link right here. I think James will also be writing a mail um, after the conference linking to the attendee survey. Cool thing is uh, it doesn't just help us to improve plumbers. You also have the chance of actually getting a t-shirt. Uh, one of the reasons for actually attending plumbers. Um, and with that, um, on Monday's keynote, we took a look back on 30 years of Linux. And in one of our surveys, we all asked you a couple of questions about the future of Linux. So what will Linux look like in 10, 20, 30 years? And uh, these were some interesting results, I, I find. So first question was, do you think that Linux will still be as popular 10 years from now? So what do we think this has? Uh, this will show. Waiting for the chat to load. I think the overwhelming result was that 96% of you think that Linux will still be at least as popular as it is today, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> but James says we all will have moved to BSD. Well, maybe. Um, the second question that we had is going even farther into the future, asking, do you think Linux will still be as popular in 20 years from now? And the numbers dropped. 60% think that Linux will still, as, uh, will still be as relevant as it is today in, in 20 years. We should have, now we should have really asked in 30 or 40 years and see whether we can get the, the numbers below, uh, below 50, actually. So a lot of cheap BSD shots in the chat. And oh, this is interesting in light of this year's plumbers, I guess, and the developments of the last couple of uh, years. Um, do you think that Linux will remain mainly implemented in the Z language 20 years from now? And this wasn't as clear cut as one would think. 43% uh, think that yes, it will still be implemented in C and 32% uh, is actually quite a huge number I find. Uh, don't think it will just be C, probably be C++, right? And do we think that contributions will continue to come in via mailing list 20 years from now on? Everybody is really excited about mailing lists, right? Interesting, the, the nose habit in this case, uh, over 40% think that we will not be continuing to develop Linux mainly on mailing lists in 20 years from now. Whether or not that's a good thing, I don't know. Um, interesting question. Do you think that Git will still be used to collect and manage patches 20 years from now? 77% uh, trust that Git will still be the main source code, re source, source code revision tool uh, 20 years from now. So nothing better will have emerged. We had a couple of um, open, we have open questions essentially where you could could put in um, basically anything you wanted to. And one of the things that we ask is what emerging technology are you most excited about? I wonder like write in the chat what you think will be the first, one of the first two things on there. Yes, Laura is right. Rust. <laughs> Rust is obviously one of the first things that uh, that came up. 
And you, you can guess the second thing, to be honest. It should be fairly easy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Risk five came up, but not as much as Rust and uh, and eBPF. Uh, we also had AI for whatever reason, so a, a bunch of people were excited about uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Great, I guess. Um, <laughs> Linux will just write itself. Yeah, that's an, that's an option. Um, RT, the real time uh, patch set. A lot of people are excited about that. Understandable after being out of tree for fifteen years or even more and now making it upstream and folios that actually came up obviously came up multiple times i see people not that deeply involved with kernel development are now very confused what folios are but matthew if you want you can speak up and a bunch of people were excited about mrna vaccines Uh, which I guess is good in 2020 and 2021 and also in 2022. And one really good answer that I liked is retirement. So someone's really excited about retirement and this is an emerging technology apparently. Okay, and uh, the next thing we asked you is what do you think is the biggest uh, concern? What are the biggest concerns around uh, Linux? And weirdly enough, you had a lot more, uh, <laughs> everything will be done for me in retirement, Paul. No. Oh, Steve, yeah. Um, uh, weirdly, you had a lot more detailed responses to concerns than for exciting new technologies, which uh, is interesting, but not strange given in 2021. The first thing is obviously uh, overwhelmingly security. A lot of people put that in. Uh, just in, in general terms, I guess this has been a hot topic um, over the last years. And we had a lot of succession uh, questions. Uh, so Linux after Linux, uh, the age of the maintainers, uh, the apparent lack of new maintainers, the lack of young people, I'm sorry, I forgot an energy, and how to pass on knowledge. So there is no good deep dive documentation anymore about the implementation for Linux and apparently and some people claim that this is not uh, it's just reading the source code is not sufficient. Um, so a lot of worries around uh, the future of uh, maintaining Linux. Fuchsia came up a couple of times that was surprising. Um, so I don't know, is that a real worry replacing Linux soon enough? And then a lot of procedural worries, uh, which a lot of people that follow LKML should be uh, familiar with, I guess. How to make the community more welcoming, less passive aggressive on list interactions, uh, clear rules to resolve differences of opinion on design and implementation, resistance to change in workflows and engagement style from people who have been around for a long time. Uh, so I tried to summarize all of the different aspects uh, under common um, concept. That's what were your biggest concerns, apparently. And any thoughts that people want to share about directions where Linux is heading? This was really, there was really some wild stuff in here and some of the stuff I, I can't really share, but it, it was fun. But uh, a common theme again was uh, succession continued. So uh, more maintainers, we need more developers, apparently. Uh, we. Will we, there was the question whether or not we will still have the same maintainership model that we have um, nowadays. So this was a really interesting uh, survey. And uh, the direction in which Linux is heading, um, which kind of ties back to something that Paul said in one of his presentations, beyond Mars apparently. Uh, and that's it for the, uh, for the prediction survey. Um, this is all the questions that we had. I hope this was, um, uh, fun for you, and uh, I can give it uh, over to uh, David. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Christian. That, that was interesting to see what people think. Um, so, Negev, um, we don't quite know what to do Negev yet. We are still working on it, but let's start with sponsors for this year. So, we couldn't do it without the sponsors. Um, thank you to Facebook for being our diamond sponsor, to 
IBM, our platinum sponsor, the Arm and Microsoft, the gold sponsors, the AWS, Netflix, and Red Hat, the silver sponsors, to Calabra for sponsoring the excellent speaking we sent out this year. Most of you should have received them already. I haven't got mine yet. Um, I will lament that later. Um, our T-shirt sponsor VMware. So if you fill in the um, final closing survey, um, you'll get a link when you complete it to register for the T-shirt if you're in the first 200. Um, and of course, to the Linux Foundation um, and their events team who do so much to support us, not just when we're in person, but um, also when, when we're purely virtual like we have been this year. Um, and can the planning committee turn your cameras on, please, so we can all say thank you to you. Um, and yeah, sorry, Christian, I um, failed to spell your name correctly. So um, thank you, Kate, for referring the, um, this track, the referee track. Um, thank you, Stephen, for shepherding all the microcoms. Thank you, John, Guy, and James for in the insane amount of work that's been done on the technical side, BB and Matrix and everything else running. Um, thank you, Elena, for all the work that you do on keeping everything else running and um, so much stuff behind the scenes and with uh, Linux Foundation liaison. And thank you, Christian, for, again, so much stuff that you do, including running all the social media and sort of doing the backup for everything else we do. It's amazing. The amount of work that these people have done to help this conference work um, is, is brilliant. And thank you to all of you for coming, because we couldn't do it without you. Um, so also Zohar, um, you often see Zohar's work. She's been working with us for, since 2015 um, on the graphics for Lamas, and often they're a little more subtle. They're sort of like boards around the side of the room. But when we're virtual, you see it all the time. It's right in front of you. It's what gives us that thin veneer of professionalism. Otherwise, it would be really obvious that we're all engineers doing this stuff and nothing would look pretty at all. Um, um, and yes, we do it all with free software, with Indico, with BigBlueButton, with uh, Matrix servers, um, the, the client that we've done this year. And obviously, the most important thing, the LPC front end that John put together basically single-handedly to, to glue it all together for us. Um, so. Um, next year. Uh, we don't know what we're doing next year yet. As I said, uh, we are really hoping that we will be able to hold it in person. Uh, we're not sure yet where, where yet. Um, it's going to be interesting booking venues because so many other conferences have postponed and um, venues are going to get booked up very quickly. Um, so we're going to look at what we can do for next year. Um, and I think that's all you really need to hear from me. I think we should devolve into the um, beverage bath at this point. Thank you. And I guess on so, behalf of the community and everybody else here, I think we should thank David very, very much for chairing this year. Nobody said that. So congratulations, David, for pulling off another virtual only LPC in 2021. and. Uh, Next one.